like if you're an athlete, right? Like having the right mindset every time you go to do something is, is key and it's huge. And a lot of people struggle with it. You know, instead of thinking, I get to do this or I want to do this, it's, oh, I got to do this. You know, and if you change just that one fucking word and your thought, right? It changes your whole demeanor. It changes your whole attitude towards something. Here we go. What was the podcast where you were talking about mental toughness? It's called uh, Coach Em Up. Two guys down in uh, Austin, Texas, Tim Riley, and then Zach. Zach is the women's bas- uh, strength and conditioning coach for uh, Texas University's women's basketball. And then Tim coaches up some NFL guys and on speed and strength and went down there uh, to do the podcast, got, got my boys some, some speed training. And uh, yeah, it was really awesome. But you know, one of the questions they asked me was about you know the difference between military mindset and like athletic mindset, and um, you know, mental toughness was like the the topic. And yeah, it's really interesting, you know, because how I I guess look at it is your perspective and whatever it is you're doing is your world. And so, if even as an athlete. You know, if you put all this pressure, all this stress, and you put every all your energy, all your heart into something, you know, it's it's your world, right? And you think it's uh, end all be all and life or death, and you know, you just, you make it more than it really is when you're looking at the grand scheme of things for um, sport. At the end of the day, you know, if you don't perform in sport, you go home and you feel sorry for yourself. In military, you know, if you don't perform, you know, something catastrophic could happen, right? Like people can die. It's, it's as a, a more serious or, um, the outcomes can be very, very much, uh, permanent, I guess you could say. And so, you know, not saying that athletic performance isn't, uh, important because it is, you know, a lot of people make their livelihood on it and it's, it's, their, it's their everything, you know, but if you kind of sit back and think about really what it is, what you're doing, when it comes to sport, it's like, it, it can be fun. And, you know, you're, you could, you could enjoy it and the reasons why you got into it and fell in love with it. Um, and you probably perform better, you know? And so military can be fun, right? We shoot guns, we blow shit up, we jump out of planes. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you go on a deployment and you're coming home and sometimes your best friend's not coming home. And so it's, uh, it's just very different. And the, and the mindset has to be different. You know, you, you have to, you can't have a small error. You can't have a minor thing go wrong or forget something in the military where in sport, you know, it's not, the consequences aren't, just, aren't as serious. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's two different things. And a lot of people, you know, look at them both. And like I said, some people just take it. So they, they, when sport mentality, they take it so serious and they put so much pressure and so much stress on themselves. You know, sometimes just uh, taking taking a step back and looking at it, like the the big picture, the real, you know, the grand scheme, and um, you know, take that pressure off and enjoy what you're doing and have fun with it. And I tell my kids this all the time. You know, like you're you're the more you're enjoying something, the more fun you're having, the the better you're going to be at it. And you're kind of in a unique position to have that military experience and high level athletic experience. Yeah. Yeah. I have a really cool, you know, I had a cool experience in life where, you know, I thought my athletic career was over, um, went into the military, you know, became a SEAL, had that life experience. And then, and then somehow my athletic career became revived and, uh, yeah, it was really cool. It was cool experience. And it was cool to have that military experience prior to my athletic career, I think it put a lot of things into perspective and it helped me to have more fun. And, and my, I remember my first year in 2011, when I took second at the games, I just remember being like, you know, I had so much fun because it was just like my hobby. It was like literally just something I was doing for fun and I enjoyed it. And I had no stress. I had no pressure. I wanted, I put, you know, I had goals that I wanted to do at 
uh, at CrossFit, but it wasn't the end all be all because I knew at the end of the day, I was like, no, I have a job. Like my job is the, you know, I'm in the, mil- I'm in the military and I'm, I'm a SEAL and, and I have this. And so that was, you know, my priority, but CrossFit was just something fun and I, and I thought I could do well at it. And so, yeah, it was, it was kind of crazy that I had it before, right? Where normally it'd probably be like flipped, you know, you'd, your athletic career and then guys will go into the military afterwards. And it was just, uh, it was a really unique and really cool experience to, to have that. All right. A fun little chipper workout. Um, some clean variations and some burpee variations. Kind of just a easy, easy, nasty workout, but uh, it'll get the job done. It'll be fun. You get kind of touch every different aspect of a clean somewhat, and then uh, a few different versions of a burpee. Uh, this is a great workout, right? If you, you know, you could pick any three of these, any parts of one part of this and make it a full workout. Um, just kind of want to show the different aspects of cleans, right? So we're going to have a 20 barbell cleans, power cleans at 185, 20 burpees over the bar into 20 cleans at sandbag cleans at 150, 20 burpee pull-ups, 20 ground overhead with dumbbells, um, which becomes clean and jerk, 60 pound dumbbells, and 20 regular burpees. And so just three different variants, kind of the same thing, but this will be a fun chipper, um, kind of nasty, but you could take any one of these and make it like three rounds or four rounds or whatever. Um, but here's a cool workout where you get kind of get to touch and change and it kind of It'll be a fun workout, to be honest. It'll suck, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun in no fun kind of way. CrossFit-esque. So this will be cool. And we'll uh, we'll do it uh, uncut, show you all three, uh, you know, have a camera rolling the entire time, kind of see how I do it. And um, yeah, this will be cool. On the power clean, right, it's going to be, I'm, I'm picking 185. It'll be up fast singles. It won't be touch and go. You know, the, you know, scale that weight as needed. Burpee over the bar. We'll go parallel. We won't go uh, bar facing. So you can do uh, just sideways. Um, you know, sandbag, right? Just get it up to your shoulder. Drop it in front. I like going in front because it's a little bit faster, but you have to get the sandbag all the way up to your shoulder. Uh, burpee pull up. You know, that's just a different nasty version of the burpee. A little bit slower, but you got to keep moving. And then ground overhead dumbbells. You know, that's, uh, hold on for, hold on for, you know, as long as you can, right? I feel like I don't like to break there because that first rep is the, one of the toughest ones. Um, and so I like to hold on and kind of get as many reps as I can in. The 60s will get a little heavy, you know, again, scale that as needed uh, to where you should probably be able to do that in, I mean, at that point in the workout, you might be a little tired, but, you know, I would say no more than four sets. <laughs> We'll see though, <laughs> maybe I'm an idiot. And then just normal 20 burpees, right? Drop down on the ground, touch your chest to the ground and stand up and jump and clap over your head. So um, this will be fun. This will be nasty, but good. And a great overall workout. I love cleans and getting to touch all different three kinds of them is a, is a, is a cool s- scheme where you can, you know, it won't be the same. You're, oh, you're just going back to the bar or, oh, you're just on the dumbbell or, oh, you're just on the sandbag. You're going to kind of get to keep rotating and kind of keep it interesting and fun. So uh, a fun workout. Yep, there it is. My prediction on this workout is like between 10 and 11 minutes. It's kind of where my head's at. You know, giving myself two minutes for the cleans for each 20 set of cleans and then about a minute for the regular burpees and then probably about a minute and a half for the other sets of burpees it's kind of where my thought is at i could go a little faster on uh the barbell and the dumbbells the sandbag i think is going to be right around two minutes i know my pace on those and it's like 12 or 13 a minute I can get, it just hurts. And so I don't think I'll wanna go that fast, but I should be able to hold at least the nine or 10 and be right around two minutes. Um, the burpee pull-ups will be a little slower, but I can get, you know, 18 a minute 
if I'm moving. Um, the burpee over the bar could be fast, especially because it's parallel and not uh, bar facing. Regular burpees will be fine. I just, and that's the end of the workout too. So I'll, I'll push those. So yeah, in my mind, that's where my head's at. We'll see here soon what, how, how, my, uh, how my predictions are. It'll be like 25 minutes. <laughs> Something like this, I wanna get my heart rate up. So just doing a few 80%, uh, 10 to 12 calorie row. Probably do three, one more of these. This will be my third one. Get my heart rate up, get my heart rate up and then I'll move into warm ups with the, with the weights. And, um, and then I'll get after it. Not too terribly long. If I start with a belt on for the barbell power cleans and then uh, go away from it. So that'll be nice. It'll be nice that'll help keep my back a little bit, save my back just a touch uh, for the other two cleans. And since I start, I don't have to like take it on or off, which will be nice. All right, here we go.
Right numbers, right weight. That's good. Oh man. Uh, yeah, that did it. Yeah, that was good. So, kind of right where I wanted it to be, the 10 minute mark, I was 10.03. So, you know, I could have probably um, stopped taking as many breaks or as long as breaks. I could have easily made those two seconds back. Uh, let my mind get a little weak in certain points, but the pace was good. The reps were good. The, uh, yeah, like, I thought about going 50s on the dumbbells. I'm glad I went 60s. It was the right number. I went 776. Uh, kept moving on the sandbag. I think I, I think I rested a little longer than I should have at 11. Um, and the barbell, the barbell felt really good. Um, you know, at burpee pace, I was kind of like not trying to push it off the bat. My first two sets. <clears throat> um, I could have maybe pushed the first set a touch more. Uh, but yeah, for the intensity purposes, the timing, kind of what I wanted to get out of it, that was the right, uh, the right scheme. So really fun workout, really enjoyed it. You know, that chipper walking to the next movement, knowing it wasn't gonna be the same as the last one, but similar, made it really fun. And um, kind of took my brain out of it. You know, if you're just doing 20s with one of these objects, you know, it can become daunting where you're like, oh, my next one's with the sandbag and it's a little bit lighter, so that's good. Oh, well, my next burpees are burpee pull-ups, so it's gonna be slower anyways. So, you know, it's, it's fine. And then the dumbbells, like, those felt pretty light coming from being, basically being the heaviest, middle weight, lightest weight, you know? That's kind of what my thought process was too. You could do it in reverse, it'd be really nasty too. Um, but yeah, super fun workout, you know, and, uh, you know, coming to it with the right mindset, you know, instead of being like, oh shit, I gotta do this. No, I get to do this. And this is gonna be fun. And I'm gonna get some fitness out of it. And I'm gonna get explosive and strength and get my heart rate up. Um, I think that can bog people down, right? You come to, you come into anything with the wrong mindset, right? Uh, you know, it can totally change your workout, change your, you know, your, you're uh, like, if you're an athlete, right? Like having the right mindset every time you go to do something is, is key and it's huge. And a lot of people struggle with it, you know, instead of thinking I get to do this or I want to do this, it's, oh, I gotta do this, you know? And if you change just that one fucking word and your thought, right? It changes your whole demeanor. It changes your whole attitude towards something and uh, it can build confidence. And, uh, you know, I talked to that about my kids with, you know, their sports. It's like, you have to believe in yourself. You have to want to do this shit. And I know sometimes it's not every day is it going to be that, but most days you go in, you should feel good and want to do it and not fuck. I got to do this. It's like, no, I get to do this and I want to do this and I can't wait to hurt and have some pain and feel some, you know, my heart rate up, my breathing. I'm going to fucking feel my body getting hot and sweaty. And uh, my muscles firing, feel explosive and feel powerful. And that, that one thing right there can change every, everything for you, change every aspect of your life. You know, fitness is great, but having that mindset for everything that you gotta do, you know, I want to do this, I get to do this, instead of I have to do this, is a huge fucking thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, subscribe, do the thing, and as always, don't forget to pay the man.